I lost a child while we were playing hide and seek. Three months ago, I got a job as a nanny for the girl our generous mayor adopted. Watching her was pure pleasure, and I fell in love with little Lucy right away. Once I gave her an expansive bear that repeated every word she said. Lucy liked it so much that she didn't part with it. But something terrible happened a month ago. Playing hide and seek ended up with Lucy disappearing. We searched everywhere, but to no avail. And after three hours of searching, Mr. Diggory received a terrible letter that said the girl was kidnapped and that if her father wanted her back, he must pay a ransom. It said Mr. Diggory sent me home. Ignoring the upcoming elections, he started looking for ransom money to help Lucy. I was in shock. Upon leaving, I forgot my bag and I had to come back. A single father whose adopted daughter was kidnapped. Ah, what can cause more sympathy? Pity will make these single South citizens vote for me. And I will be re-elected for a second term. I literally froze in shock. And I didn't have time to notice that the mayor's door was opening. <gasps> Did you hear something? Was kidnapping Lucy your plan? Shut up. If you tell anyone. Ah, although no one will believe you. After saying that, he went down to the living room where the noise of reporters came from. This liar started telling people that despite his stress, he raised funds and was preparing to pay the ransom. And if one of the residents lost a child, he said he would do the same. After all, our children are the most precious thing. I wanted to go to the reporters or call the police, but the mayor's words that no one would believe me stopped me. I left the mayor's house and started thinking about how to save Lucy and bring Mr. Digger to light. I walked outside for several hours. And I saw how well Digger's plan worked. After all, his rating skyrocketed. I had no idea what surprise was waiting for me at home. Little Lucy stood in my hallway. I ran up to hug her, but I was stopped. Cops broke into my house, handcuffed me, and escorted me to their police car. You are accused of kidnapping a child. The detective started interrogating me. And I told them everything I knew. But no one believed me. And then the mayor asked the detective to leave the office. If only you didn't poke your nose into other people's business. I saw Lucy standing outside the door with a teddy bear. An idea flashed through my head and I grabbed at my tiny chance of salvation. Can I at least say goodbye to Lucy? Lucy ran up to me and I whispered something in her ear. Detective! I screamed so loud that he ran into the room. Then I gave him the teddy bear and asked him to press its tummy. I was over the moon because an expansive toy turned out to be better than a voice recorder. The only place we didn't look for Lucy was the mayor's office where he had kept her. So the toy recorded his whole plan. 
This piece of evidence destroyed Mr. Digger's political career and sent him to jail. As for me and Lucy, I took custody of her and her nanny became her mother. Selfless love is a shield that protects a loving person from any kind of evil.